Hey guys, here at OSINVDXReviews.com. What we're looking at is we're looking at uh, the benchmark tests for the Visonic G tablet, which is an Android 2.2 powered. Uh, it's got an Integra chipset running at 1 GHz with a dual core processor underneath. We've got full USB ports, we've got the 10 point inch capacitive touchscreen. Everything looks to be pretty complete from the outside, from Wi Fi to Bluetooth to the processor, and it's pretty speedy. We're giving you a bench test um, here directly on the go and just showing you how this device ranks to comparative devices. So we'll take a look at what, uh, oh, the service call failed. Um, quadrant, this is the Quadrant standard version. That's interesting. We'll run that again and see how it does. Um, you can really see that the screen is pretty good at doing those animations, pretty smooth. The processor is great at that. Sometimes though, you'll, but you'll definitely notice that the viewing angles can be really limited, and that's because a ViewSonic did not do a great job on the viewing angles. Even though the screen is really crisp in terms of pixels per per square inch and per um, resolution, you can really you can't really tell the pixels apart when you look closely at all the words. And that's a sign of something that's really great about this device. So we'll see if this will vote for us once again. This is the first animation. We'll have the second one, which is about this. Uh, gun shooting. The camera's not really picking this up, but there's not a lot of stuttering. Um, looks great on a large screen. Again, tablets are really cool and uh, a lot different from smartphones. You might think that it's just an extended smartphone, but really it's not. Just tablets in general, whether it's an iPad, an HP touchpad, whether it's an Android device like this, larger displays do make a large difference, and everything just looks expanded and a lot better. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We've loaded quadrant scores. So the quadrant score is uh, 2,121, which is fairly decent. Um, keep in mind that Visonic has its own little UI that may be t boggling down the processor. It's pretty fairly fast um, as far as devices go. There's the Nexus 1 below it. We've also got the Motorola Droid X, and we've also got followed the Droid Evo X, the Galaxy S, this is the Samsung Galaxy S. This is the Samsung Galaxy S. This is the Motorola Droid X. We've got the Nexus One. The HTC Desire is down here. Um, this is Nexus One originally. This is Nexus One with 2.2 or above. This is an original Motorola X Droid, and this is HTC Magic. So again, fairly impressive there. Um, if we go home, this video, as you might see from the description, will also be taking on our favorite apps in terms of this uh, tablet goes. Um, a lot of people are saying, I'm not going to go over too many games because, of course, a lot of people know games uh, in terms of doodling apps and stuff. I'll just take a look on what to take really advantage of a large screen. There's Kids Doodle, which is pretty fun. It's a fun doodling app, and I think for tablets in particular, getting a drawing app or a doodle app is really important because you want to take advantage of the really large display. It's also a good idea to pick up one of these styluses or capacitive styluses just to doodle and um, to interact with the screen, really. And um, yeah, it's pretty fun to, to play with. Of course, there's a lot more professional doodle pads out there, but uh, this is one of the pads that are pretty fun to play with and they got, give a lot of colors. You've got a lot of selections in terms of um, pen pin choices go. It's got back buttons, erase buttons. It can also play back. Um, it records your animation, so it plays it back on the screen, um, which is another cool feature that not a lot of doodle pads have, but it's really fun, and you can pause it, you can save it. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this doodle pad in general. So other than doodling, um, exit. you've also got um, what I also think is important for a tablet computer to get uh, that's not included right out of the box is uh, another pretty good app that I well, I enjoyed was Tank Hero. Um, I said I wouldn't share too much games with you. This is actually a great game for the uh, large screen. It's basically tanks, except it's got. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, it's basically tanks, except it's, ex it's expanded on this super large display, and it's really fun to play with and interact with. Um, because the screen is very responsive, it's it's also fun. The graphics are great, and they're especially diligent here on this expensive display, which is really large, um, and the resolution is pretty high. And if we just play, the sound and graphics are really come alive. Um, 
what you do is you, you just move this jog dial and you move here, you tap these in order to fire. If your tank gets hit, then you die. Um, and you can see the graphics and things are just really impressive. So that's Tank Hero, another great game that takes well advantage of the graphics and the high resolution display in addition to being an expanded experience on gameplay. Um, in terms of a lot more other apps, I'm not going to really recommend those. You know those from smartphones, um, and they're pretty fun to play with. But I'll leave you with one more uh, app just to take a look at it. It's a little bit more unique than a lot of people think. Um, there's an app called Iris out there. It's basically built on the idea that there's there's Siri out there for iPad, right? Where you talk to it and it will talk to you back. Now this is basically um, Iris, which is for Android, and it tells you you can talk to it and then it talks to you back. It's like a smart robot. It also has this woman's voice. It's a computer animator, like life person. It's pretty fun. I can both ask. Iris, do you know? Oh, here, let me see. That was a little too short. Um, and you can actually hear the volume. Let me turn up the sound here. And it works really well. It's pretty cool. Uh, it works as well, I think, as Siri does. It might not be as smooth sometimes, and you're going to get some hitch-ups, but it's still very cool to talk to a uh, voice-commanded robot that does a lot more than just command you to tell you the time or launch an application. It tells you real-time responses and stuff from the web that's pretty creative and gives you a few laughs and gets the job done. It's pretty cool. Um, and it's a large selling point for iPads. It's going to be pretty cool technology here. Um, are you a man or a girl? And it tells you you're digging the internet. And then uh, it's pretty funny. I just asked, are you a man or a girl? And it says, no, I am a female robot entity. Are you a man or a woman? And it's just responses. It's really creative. It's really fast. And it's just pretty funny in general. It talks. It speaks. Um, you can, I should probably turn off the volume, but that's, that's pretty much it. So of course, there's a lot of apps in the Android marketplace that you can search through. And those are just three apps, one game, uh, one uh, pretty fun to play around with uh, app in general, Iris. And I also showed you just, um, I showed you the benchmark test for this device in general. And uh, yeah, the Android Mark Store and I've also showed you Kid Doodle. So there's a lot of apps built in, into this device uh, and a lot of apps you can find, of course, on the Android Marketplace. Those three that I think are pretty essential that no, you can work around them, you can find different apps, but I think it's pretty important to get a doodling app or a drawing app for such a large screen. It's pretty cool to get an iris or, or a voice command type of app or just a search, a voice search app or whatever you want to use with a microphone. It's also important to get games with really high resolution playback for tablets that support the high resolution on the screens rather than just expanding it from a smartphone. All right, thank you for watching here at OS and VDXreviews.com.